Yeah, yeah, but don't, no, 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 don't talk to me. See? If she wants to talk. Think, you talk to whoever you want to. I don't think don't don't let him dictate what you Okay, what do you want, sister? Well, they say that Jesus was not the son of God. Yeah, it's known. Because if you look to, okay, it, when we say son of God, we speak in English language, yeah? Yes. Okay, when we say son of God, in English language, son has three meaning. When a man and a woman get together, produce a son, or an old man call a young man son, or a stepson. So which one applied to Jesus? First one, you know. No, so you're saying God uh, had the intercourse with Mary? Yeah, no, that's, see? That's why if you go back to the history of this term when it was used, it was used by the Israelites. The Israelites, when someone was so righteous, they call him a son of God. Doesn't mean actual son of God. It means someone that is righteous. For example, in Caribbean, in Jamaica and other countries, they say this is a man of God. He's a man of God. What does that mean? It means this man is righteous, you understand? However, if you go back to the Romans, the Romans from the paganism believe, they believe, let me ask you something. The 26th of December, what does it remind you of? December is Christmas day, Jesus was born. See, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. Do you, know, do you know who came with it? Who came up with it? It was the Romans because the Romans had someone called a son of God called Mithra. Mithra, it was the name of a son of God of the Greeks that was born on the 26th of December. You understand? So when you look to, the, to, to Jesus, uh, to the Romans, uh, or Christianity is heavily influenced by the Roman uh, paganism and Egyptian paganism. Jesus never came with this, I'm a son of God, or you understand? We are, the, we are the, the creation of God. And even if they say Jesus is son of God, but you ask, what about Moses? He's a son of God. What about Solomon? He's a son of God. So, uh, so again? Uh, we, can, we can come to that, no doubt. We can come to that. But the point here is that, again, the, 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 if Jesus was special, that the Son of God is only for Jesus, but in the Bible, Jacob was called the Son of God. So what does that mean, Son of God? Like I said to you, if you study history, or the Israelites, they, when someone is righteous, they call it a Son of God. But not, not literally a Son of God. But the Quran came with, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah the Most High, refuted this. Because that is a big uh, accusation against the Creator. Because even ra rationally, rationally, if I bring to you a dog, yeah, if I bring a dog to you, yeah, and I bring a chicken, and I say this chicken is a child of the dog, to me, what doesn't make any sense? The dog is completely different. God is no human being, yeah. God is not human being. He's not created being. God is the Creator. So how Jesus, Son of God, doesn't make any sense? Humans, Jesus is human. Humans are son of human, not son of a Creator. You understand? Secondly, let me tell you something about the Bible. Yes? The Bible, do you accept the Bible is corrupted? Not my Bible. Okay, which Bible do you have? <laughs> not my Bible. Okay, which Bible Russian do you have? Bible was not corrupted. Okay. Maybe on this side of the world? Yes. Okay. On the other side? She's no. no problem. It's the same thing because why? No, it's not. It is. I'll tell you why. Jesus never spoke Russian. Okay, he never spoke Greek either. That's um, what I'm saying. That's my point. So you're helping me to prove my point. <laughs> he never spoke Russian, he never spoke Greek, he never spoke English. Yeah. He spoke English. So he spoke Aramaic or Syriac. So these two languages which Jesus spoke with, we don't have the original writing of Jesus. So why, why, why I mention this point? Imagine I said something in Arabic to you. Pay attention, yeah? Imagine I said something in Arabic to you. In, and he translated it. In order to know if what he's, what he's translating is correct or not, either you know this, this person to be trustworthy, truthful and honest. Or you yourself, you know the Arabic language and you can verify. So now when you come to the Bible that we have, we don't have it in, also, uh, in its uh, original language that Jesus spoke with. Likewise, we don't know the translators. So how can we trust the Bible? You can tell the same thing. You have the English version of the Quran. But we have the Arabic. Have the Arabic. That's what I'm saying. So that's why, if, imagine now, we have two translations of English Quran. Can we verify it? Yes, because we, don't have, the, we have the original writing. That's my point. It's a very weak argument. What do you mean? It's a very weak argument. No, but say if I speak to my mom and I call her yeah. and I was like, how are you doing? Obviously, I'll speak to her in Russian. Yeah. But if my friend over here will be like, oh, what are you saying? I will translate the meaning of it. I won't translate word by word, but the meaning will be translated. I have no problem with that, but your friend knows you to be trustworthy and honest. But you don't know the translators. That's my point. My point. But the Russians have the confession. Christians confess already that they don't have the original. So yeah, Bart about, Ehrman. When we talk about the original, you go ahead and talk about the translation. Do you know Bart Ehrman? 
Okay, there, there's a scholar of Christianity. He was a Christian himself. He's from North Carolina University, yeah? And this person, he himself, he left Christianity and he wrote a book called Misquoting Jesus, yes? He said one of the things that he left Christianity, and bear in mind he knew Greek, he knows Greek, yes? He knows other languages. So he said he left Christianity because there's many contradictions. Also, he had, he had debates with William Wallace. William Wallace, he is a Christian. And William Wallace is a, 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 a Christian. I think he's a Protestant a Christian. He admitted it openly on YouTube. He said, yes, we cannot really say we have the Bible 100% correct. Because why? We don't have the original writings. But when it comes to Quran, Quran is completely different. We don't know, rely on a manuscript that we discovered in the middle of desert and we dust it out and he said, you know what, it's back dates 500 years ago, so let us follow it. Because the question we ask ourselves, who wrote it? Okay, we don't know who wrote it. Can we trust him? If we don't know him, I'm going to trust him. No, the Quran is a passed down Quran. That's why since the time of Prophet Muhammad, we had scholars of Quran. Yes, scholars of Quran, meaning they were sitting in the mosque teaching the Quran. Yes. And you know what is very powerful about the Quran and very interesting? Allah said in the Quran, We have made Quran easy to be memorized. In another verse, Allah said, inna We have sent them the dhikr, the Quran, and we will preserve it. Now, if the Christians, watch this, yeah? if the Christians and the Jewish and the Muslims, all of them decide to burn their scriptures the only scripture will remain with us is what? The Quran. Do you know who can bring it back into the written form? Not the Muslim scholars. The Muslim scholars know the Quran as well. The Muslim children. That is a miracle because Allah mentioned that 1,400 years ago that this book will be memorized and will be preserved. That's why if now we challenge the Christians, the Jewish. No one memorized. You have even memorized it in its pure language. You know, you haven't even memorized it in, in Russia or English, let alone in its pure language, sister. That's why the, the beauty of the Quran. That's why you see Islam is spreading. It's people accepting Islam because they see Islam is still in its pure form. Do you understand? Never, never. It's Afwan Akhi. Salam Ahiyak Allah Kevak. Abdul Rahman of Dimashkiya. Mashallah Kevak. Ahiyak Allah. Ahiyak Allah. Right here, right now, give her a notice. Yeah. How come these Arabs were able to maintain the original? Yeah, what, what, what's the With the civilization and empire, they could not uh, uh, yeah. Listen, listen, here's the demonstration. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Shukran, Abdul Hamid, shukran, hayyak Allah, habib, shukran, khayyib. Ida jaa nasrullahi wal fatah. ورأيت الذين يدخلون. ورأيت الناس يدخلون في دين الله. That's my proof. That's my. That's my. You know, you know. There's a. I tell you this story. There's a brother became Muslim, and he's a young brother, mixed race. He's half English, half Jamaican, and he was praying with us the prayer, and the imam, the one leading the prayer, made mistake, and there was a young brother corrected him. At the end, he came to me. He said, Shamsi, do you remember when you spoke to me about the preservation of the Quran, that even. Like even the children memorized it. He said, I have witnessed it with my own eyes in your mosque. He said, I'm praying next to this young boy and this, the Imam who was leading the prayer, he made a mistake and the young boy corrected him. He said, I knew what you said is correct, Shamsi. You, you know, you can't. Nobody can make That's mistake. why, you know, and, and remember, sister, we have to understand. You remember when Christianity started, or let us say when Jesus came, because the brother mentioned, our brother, our brother Abdul Rahman mentioned it to me. And he reminded me of it. When Islam came, or when Jesus came, the, Christian, the true followers of Jesus, they were scared to teach openly. Why? Because the Romans were going after the, the true followers of Jesus. They were killing them. You understand? That's why they were scared to teach openly. And that's how one of the, the factors that people lose their religion. And for example, what happened to the, to the black Africans? When the black Africans were, uh, the Europeans uh, enslaved them and took them to America, they stopped them speaking in their own language or teaching their children their own language. What happened? They lost their language, you understand? That's, that's what's happening. So the point here is, as for the Muslims, before Prophet Muhammad died, the authority and the strength was belonged to the Muslims. So the Muslims were not scared to teach the Quran openly in their mosque, you understand that? So that's one of the factors that it makes sense that why Christianity was not preserved. Because they were scared to teach openly and so on. So, but what I want to say to you, do you believe Jesus is God? Okay, let me ask you something. You and I and all of us here, 
we believe God is perfect, correct? Yes. God is perfect, yeah? Yes. So he's perfect in his knowledge yes. and he's self-sufficient, yes? yes? Okay. So when Jesus said in the Bible, in Mark 13, 32, no one knows a day, uncle is getting tired. When, when Jesus said, no one knows the day and the hour, not even the angels in the heaven, nor the son, but only the father. So Jesus doesn't know the hour. And you told me God knows everything. So if Jesus is God, he must know everything. Correct? But Jesus clearly doesn't know the hour. It hits you like a stone. The, the, you, know, you know, what is interesting is the same thing that Allah mentioned in the Quran to Prophet Muhammad. Yes, alunaka ani sa'a. Oh Muhammad, the meaning of the verse. Oh Muhammad, have you noticed? Before we recite the Quran, we recite it in its pure language. That's why we kept it pure and preserved. We don't just translate. So, yes, alunaka ani sa'a. They ask about the hour, O Muhammad. Yes? Say the knowledge of it is with my Lord. So it's very interesting. Jesus and the Prophet Muhammad, they said the same thing. They, both of them, they don't know our. That show us what? They've been sent from the same creator. And show us Jesus cannot be God. And what is powerful about the Quran, the Quran gives us intellectual, rational arguments why Jesus cannot be God. Allah mentioned about his mother, Kana Yaqulani Ta'am. Both of them used to eat food. What Allah saying that? Because if Jesus eat food, that's not the nature of the Most High, because the Most High is self-sufficient, is not in need of anything. If the Most High is in need of something, okay, to sustain himself, he cannot be the one who is self-sufficient. It's a rational, logical argument that Jesus cannot be God. Let me ask you, does God have a God? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. If God, because what is God? The creator, the greatest, the most high, the one that created everything. But in the Bible, Jesus said, I'm going to my God and your God. Hang on. Jesus is God, but he's going to his God. So he cannot be God. That's why I said to you, the, the, rush, the, the, the religion that makes sense and it goes in line with our natural inclination and a sound reasoning is Islam. Say, O Muhammad, Allah is one. Allahu Samad is master, self-sufficient. He's not in need of nothing. Everything is in need of him. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. He beget not, neither was he begotten. Wa lam yakun lahu kufuwan ahad. And there is nothing like unto Allah. That's how Allah described himself in the Quran. In another verse, Allah said, Allahu la ilaha illa huwa al-hayyu al-qayyum. Allah is the one that deserves to be worshipped alone. Al-hayyu al-qayyum, the ever-living, the self-sufficient, the one who is in charge of everything. La ta'akhuduhu sinatun wa la nawm. He doesn't sleep, he doesn't get tired. Lahu ma fi samawati wa ma fi al-ardi wa ma bay. Lahu ma fi samawati wa ma fi al-ardi. And whatever is in the heaven and the earth, belongs to him. Look how Allah described himself in the Quran. The God that makes sense to us. What do you think what I said so far? Me. Yeah, makes sense to you? It does. That Jesus cannot be God because God doesn't have God, but no. Jesus... Well, see, that shows on my side that I'm not particularly educated in my religion for me to come back with an argument. No, no, I don't agree with that. You know why? Because you don't have to be educated in any religion to know that... The... Listen to this, yeah? I am listening. Yeah, yeah. I you know what? Yeah, I, well, you see what I'm, I'm doing with you? I don't want to go in details about why the Bible has been corrupted because I do agree you don't have enough knowledge to speak about it yeah. when it comes to manuscript. But what I'm, speak, what I'm emphasizing on now, something which is not by necessity. If someone comes to me now, Sorry. let me finish with this point here, yeah? and you can ask me. I know I've been talking a lot, but I will uh, let you uh, ask me a question. If someone comes to me now and he says, is Allah God? And I say, yes. He said, but in the Quran, Allah doesn't know the hour. I don't have to be a scholar to know, you know what, that doesn't make any sense. Because Allah knows everything, but you're telling me, but I believe Allah is the creator of everything and is God, but that's not the hour. That's clear proof, he's not God. I don't have to study in any university or any schools or colleges to know that which is not by necessity. That's why Islam, it goes in line with that which is not by necessity. That's why when Islam refused Christianity, Judaism, refused that which is Every human being understands it. You don't have to have qualification from any university to understand God doesn't have God. If Jesus said he has a God, it cannot be God. Anyway, you can go ahead. Sorry, the Quran was revealed to the prophets by Adrian Gabriel. So only one encounter in which he interacted with God. So only like, one encounter. There's many, 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 many times. Give me another example. The Quran was revealed through 23 years. There was a time, there's many times it was... Huh? Was not written in three years. 
No, no, no. It was written in three in the Quran, so that's how Allah. Yeah, there was many times the companions that uh, we have Zayd ibn Thabit, we have his wife Aisha. Many once he was in the mosque sitting down with his companions, and someone asked him a question. Then Prophet Sallam started sweating, and he said that, that day was so cold, and he started sweating. And, uh, and one of the companions said, Prophet Muhammad's leg was over my leg, and I felt so, the leg is so heavy. And what happened? That was the revelation. Then he started answering the question to that person, you understand? So there's many, many, many uh, instances when uh, uh, they uh, uh, witness the revelation. But I will tell you something, in the Bible, in the Old Testament, Daniel received the revelation and there was no one there with him. <laughs> my point here is, but you still believe he's a prophet of God, yeah. even though, yeah, that's my point. So, so I don't know what the argument you're going to, even though we have witnesses that witnessed the prophet Muhammad receiving the revelation. Also, so my, my point here is, that Daniel in the Bible, which you believe is a prophet of God, he received the revelation and there was no any witnesses. Understand? But also, what about the Quran as well, sister? Even if there, there was no witnesses, yes? Put it aside. Let us analyze the Quran. Have you read the Quran? Okay. The Quran. Uh, the Quran, the Qur one of the miracles of the Quran, Prophet Muhammad couldn't read and write, yes? And he came to people that were eloquent in their speech. They were known to be poets. They speak in a poetry way, on a, a, a style of poems and so on. So when the Prophet Muhammad came with the Quran to challenge them to bring something like it in its prophecies, in its legislation, and, and so on, they couldn't bring something like it. Did you know there's Christians, Arab Christians, who tried to do that, tried to accept the challenge, and they made themselves look very foolish. Why? Because they made mistakes in the grammar, which a child who goes to primary school, in Arabic school, he will not make the same mistake. So the Quran is, Allah never said to Prophet Muhammad, uh, or Allah never said, I just believe. Allah gave us why the Quran is the word of Allah. So when you look to the miracle of the Quran, to the prophecies, I'll give you a prophecy. There's a verse in the Quran, Allah said, Who will let the earth? Look, they wanna, look, they're going to harass me. Look, they're coming to harass me, look. He said him, go harass Shamsi. Watch. Wallah, he told you. Anyway, sister. Yes, sister. No, no, I'm not, I'm not pointing to you. I'm pointing to my friend here. Oh. Anyway, sister, listen to this, yeah? Allah sent the Quran. Oh, Who? No, no, wait, wait. Who will let the Arsala Rasulah who will Huda? Wadin al excuse me. Uh, don't control the woman. Leave her alone. She, she, I'm speaking to her. All right, it's all yes, you please. Don't have yes. Our, our Christian women here. Uh, uh, so you're allowed to have monopoly on her? No, then. I'm so I'm not having monopoly on her. Sure. She can walk free. Do all right, anyway. Speak anyway. Anyway, anyway, let me speak to her, please. Respect the woman, as you claim that you respect women. All right, so let me speak. The verse in the Quran, which Christians cannot do that to cite it out in its pure language, Allah said, Who will let the earth of the Rasul of the Huda? Wadin al Haqi. Liudirahu ala dini kulli. Wakafa billahi shahida. It is Allah. That's why the Quran has been preserved. That's why the Quran has been preserved. That's why Christians lost their Bible. Because, thank you very much. Allah said in the Quran the meaning of the verse. Now I'm going to translate it. I'm going to translate it, the meaning of the verse. Allah said, it's Allah who sent Prophet Muhammad with Islam in order for Islam to prevail other religions, yeah? And you know what is very interesting? Allah said, even if the disbelievers dislike it, even if the disbelievers dislike it. Now in the Western world, mainstream media, there's a huge war against Islam. In Australia, every single day is article speaking bad about Islam. Likewise in Britain, likewise in France, likewise in Germany and America. However, the fastest growing religion in the Western world is Islam. The war, the, the war, the war, the war, the war, the war, the war that has been waged against Islam, if it was waged against any religion, that religion would be di died a long time ago. You understand? Why, I ask a good question, why there is a war usual against Islam? Because the only religion that is standing firm and against this agenda who want to destroy our human nature, who want to turn a man to woman and a woman to man, who the, no, no, I'm speaking, I'm speaking to her. I spoke to you many times. We want to turn man to woman. Churches are accepting LGBTQ. They're promoting it. That's why there's a huge war against Islam. But the question here, I'm speaking to you because I spoke to you many times. As a smart girl, please, can you tell me where the Muslims get in this power that their religion is spreading fast in the Western world when there is a huge war against Islam? Excuse me, she can't use her brain. You have to manipulate her. 
Ah, for you don't manipulate women. She can use her brain. You cannot face a man. You cannot face a man. No, I only like face women. Yeah, I can't, I can't, yeah. You want to find women. But I thought men and women same. No, no, no. They're not same, you're not same? You're not same with her? I thought you're equal. Are you equal? Are you equal with a woman? Are you equal with a woman? Are you equal with her? Come on, you're saying you're just good enough. I'll take you on that. Anyway, sister. Take care, take care. Take care of yourself. Alhamdulillah. Don't push me. 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 Hey, bro, bro, don't, 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 Listen to me. You guys are cowards. Yeah, you're drunk. Debate him. Look for Christian men. Don't come close to me. Don't come close to me. That's all you can do, Shamsi. Shamsi can only fight like Christian women. Let this big boy here. There's a Christian man who agreed. I am here and challenging Shamsi. Shamsi, you are not Christian. 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 All right. I'm speaking to my camera and you are intervening. You are intervening. No, 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 no. Anyway, Shamsi is afraid of debating questions. Okay, all right, okay. Hey, we see that. Shamsi is afraid of debating questions. Excuse me, you keep coming close. I'm gonna say, if you come close, I'm gonna push you. Listen, these Muslims here are afraid of Christians. Anyway, that is hurt. It's burning. Hey, come, Khalas. Hey, come, 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 come. You follow me. Come, follow me. That's how you stop them. That's how you stop them. That's how you stop them. Come here. That's how you stop them. We're all Christian drunk. All right. We're all not drunk. Khalas, come, 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 <laughs> Abu Kenza with a long hair. Anyway, oh, it's Baba. Inshallah, after, let me finish, let me finish. I want to finish this video. So, what happened, Miskeen? They're burning, not Miskeen. By, by the way, all of them are drunk, you know. You can smell the wine too much. They love the blood of Jesus too much. They took too much. They were too excited about the blood of Jesus. Anyway, they were burned that we're giving dawah, preaching to a young, smart girl. But have you noticed he said they're not safe? So the Christians believe men, Christian women are not equal to Christian men. They accept that. And they try to say that if Muslims believe that, then we are, we are bad. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Anyway, we are like guide her. Alhamdulillah. And that's what I said to her. Look, out of, out of honesty, what I said to her, I'm not going to speak to you about the Bible in details because I have knowledge. But I'm going to speak to you about that which is not by necessity. Christianity doesn't make any sense. The Christians are burning because I'm giving dawah. Alhamdulillah. May Allah guide them. Alhamdulillah, anyway. Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum, Bilal. How are you, Akhi? Ahmed, it's okay, man. Hayyakallah, Habibi. Tayyib. Barakallah, Abhi. Hamilakum, Allah. MashaAllah. Allah, Barakallah, Abhi. Allah bless you, man. Zakallah, khair. Yeah, so Alhamdulillah, you know, Subhan, I tell you, my dear brothers and sisters, Friday, one young girl become Muslim, Alhamdulillah. Every Friday, someone accept Islam, Alhamdulillah. Barakallah, Abhi. Two people become Muslims, Alhamdulillah. Christianity is dying. Churches are empty. It's known. You don't have to be a Muslim to say that. Just go on Sunday, see churches. Saturday, everyone drunk. By Sunday morning, everyone hangover. They don't know their left from their right. How do you go to church? But go Friday to massage it full, alhamdulillah. Understand, even though there is a huge war against Islam, but Islam is spreading because why there is a huge war against Islam? Because the only religion that is standing firm against paganism and disbelief and, and nonsense, uh, nonsensical ideologies is Islam. And we're not backing down, alhamdulillah. We're not doing it with, uh, uh, with violence. We're doing it with peacefully, respectfully, intellectually, alhamdulillah. Allahu Akbar. The Christians here, day and night, shouting, screaming. Yeah, I go to church, man. Today is Sunday. Even the, the Christian preachers don't go to church. Sunday, they're here. <laughs> Imagine, the preachers, they don't go to church. Friday, Billah, Friday, you see people here? Friday, everyone's in the masjid. The preachers are here, <laughs> alhamdulillah.